Hey guys, and welcome back to LA Noir. Hope you guys are well. Uh, this is an excellent game, fantastic. Uh, let's just jump straight in. So, the driver's seat. Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here, next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. Heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, detective. Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Intense. The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Are they all dressed like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. Cole Phelps is very serious, isn't he? And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. Uh, if it's all right with you, That's sir. That's an order, Phelps. <laughs> Ooh. Shh, shh, quiet, everybody. <laughs> Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. Really gave it to those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I've partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. I'm going to start you out with one case. You do okay? I'll give you a couple more. You okay. screw up, you'll be rousting vagrants and running license plates. Right. Now get down to the PE Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. Okay. Now Signs of foul play. So, new objective investigate PE Freight out. Depot. Uh, new clue abandoned vehicle. Okay. Right, okay, let's go. Um, they really pushed you through quick, didn't they? Six years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. What do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any favors. They, they don't like cold, do they? I read about him in the newspaper. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. It does feel like, um, it's really, I don't know, it just, it's very atmospheric. Only if I guarantee he walked. You know this place? Sure. Near the old gas works and signal depot in the warehouse district. I'll direct. Okay, well we'll go there then. Let's have a look at the map to see. See where we gotta go. This is our destination then. Christ, we got a long way to go. Straight on here. All units of 459 just occurred at 6 So, tell me a little about yourself, Phelps. Are we friends now, Bukowski? We have to work together. Don't be so touchy. I grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. I went to college at Stanford. Did two years ROTC before Marino CS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early 45 as a first lieutenant. Fought in the Okinawa campaign. I was wounded. I took it back home. Here on the beat. No. Take a left. So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. No. You were up there all night. Draped in the flag. Knife between your teeth. Gun at the ready. Finished? The Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge against you. I did my part, Bukowski. What did you do? I kept the streets of L.A. safe for the people. Yeah. Now I get it. Unfit for service. Fuck you, 
Phelps. I earned a bravery citation during the Zuda riots. Sounds like you had it rough. Left, coming up. I did my job. No one is saying you didn't. I did six years as a patrolman. That's the third time you've told me. They're not getting on very well, are they? All units of 459 just occurred at 6th and Saras. Any what? unit to handle, code 2, identify. What's oh, in here? Let's do it. 11 King, go ahead, KGPO. 11K, a 459 suspect just left 6th and Saras. Suspect is a male Caucasian, believed to still be in the area. Code 2. What's this, a masked gunman? Up on the roof, officer. He has a mask on his face. I caught sight when he shoved past me, but be careful. I saw him waving a gun. Okay. Come on then, Cole. You got him. Right, subdue the suspect. Okay, just do it. Give it up now. Make it easy on yourself. Get the hell away from me. Can I get me to get you? I'm Cole Phelps. Whoa, he's actually shooting me. Jesus, all right. Right, he's got his arms in danger, so we might have to shoot him. Should we shoot him? What's your rush? Can you just shoot him or not? Harry, you can still catch him. I don't know if I'm supposed to catch him or can we just shoot him? Yeah, it's a bit dangerous waving that gun around. Bloody hell. <laughs> Where's that part in the car? It was really just behind us, I think. Right, dead end. Come on. Goodness sake, it goes on a bit, didn't it? Chasing him through the whole of LA at this rate. Oh, oh dear. Are we going to make a bargain or what? How long do you think you can hold out? Uh, incapacitate the suspect before he fires to save the hostage. Put your weapons down and your hands in the air. Did we do it? Should we, should we have done that? Okay. Street crime complete, a cop on every corner. Okay, one out of 40, bloody hell. Right, let's just get to this. Um, rank, uh, achieve, reward, plus one intuition point. All right, I don't know what these intuition points are yet. Um, oh, we better go to um, the location of the freight de de depot, which we are anyway. Right, okay, that's our current destination. Right, okay, I will see you guys there. Freight depot. 10 past 11 in the morning. That you, Bukowski? Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story and you'll be all right. I was covered in blood, that car. Something from a Quentin Tarantino film, that. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and we'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. Right, let's, uh, let's check this blooded vehicle out. Yeah, some, it's, some, it's, it's from a vehicle from Pulp Fiction, it seems like. Investigate music plays when you enter a crime scene. I didn't read all that. I'm Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. Okay, what Nate. Is at the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's caught the full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. All right, so you press I to use intuition to search. Ugh, never gives you enough time to read it. Spend intuition points any location to detect clues, and detection clues will be marked on the map, making them easier to find. Well, the first thing we need to do is um, please talk to this guy here. Let's talk to him. 
Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Good, good, good. That's good. That's good. Uh, yeah, what, what were you Mind here if for? if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. Okay, I don't. You're holding out on me. Spill it. I'm telling you all I know. I already wasted hours getting involved in this thing. Okay, I caught that up. I should have said truth. Um, knowledge of Adrian Black. Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. Right, he's telling the truth, isn't he? He looks, he looks solid, you know. You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple oh. of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars that park here regularly, so it kind of stood out. Okay. Thank you for your patience, Mr. Wilkie. If you don't mind waiting a little longer, I'm sure we'll have more questions once we've had a look around. Right, okay. Let's have a look around. I see some on the floor over there straight away. What's this? Pack of cigarettes? Probably nothing. I doubt it. Okay, alright. I just saw it there. I thought I'd pick it up. Right, let's have a look at this car then, shall we? So, we got markers. C. Oh my god. One for the file. Achievement unlocked. Victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. You think? Oh, hello. So we got a crow... No, we got what you call a, a nut loosener. <laughs> nut wrench. Wheel wrench. So, doesn't look anything odd there, to be honest with you. Um, but what is this? Riverside Slaughterhouse. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday. Oh, so it could be a pig. It could be pig's blood then. Mr. F. Morgan picked up a live hog. Okay, that's one for the uh, evidence book. Okay, I think that's it. Okay. Doc, Detective Phelps, what have we got? A lot of blood for a blood force injury. The victim must be in a very bad way. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. Oh, we looked in the trunk already. Um... Yeah, so this is the same, same thing really, just from the other side. All right, so let's look at these markers then. We got A over here. What pair of glasses is this? Oh, it's two things here. So look at look at the glasses. Manipulate the object and search for points of interest. Hold when the camera zoom. Oh. Stenzel glasses. Home repaired by the look of it. So should we go to the glasses shop? Do you think? Okay. And um, what is this? Evidence. Adrian Black. 62 Bunker Hill Avenue. Is this the guy's glasses? Oh, hang on, we could look at that. Let's look at that first. New objective, interview Mrs. Black. Old, married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? Adrian Black, okay. And then there's a photograph of them both. Happier times, I guess. So that looks like the guy, it looks like his glasses. Well, it might be, might not be, I don't know. Right, where's the other clue? Is there another clue? You've got A there. You've got C, so where, where is B? Oh, here we go. It's another uh, wheel wrench here. Oh no, it's a pipe. God, that's a... Uh, 
brand name might give us something to go on. Insta Heat. Hmm. So it looks like that was a murder weapon, I guess. <laughs> right. I think we should maybe have another word with this guy, Wilkes. Wilkie, sorry. Uh, contents of the wallet. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? Oh, hang on. Did you see his eyes go crazy then? Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was going to steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. Okay. Oh, it says that we got the first one wrong. Okay, bloodstained pipe found. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. Okay, he's probably telling the truth there. When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Looked dry already. Okay. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. We'll oh, three out of four correct. We need anything more from you. If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. You're done here. We'll head over there now. So looking at the um, clues there, and we got a person of interest, Adrian Black. We assume this is a guy who's been murdered. We're not sure yet. Um, description is the missing owner of the abandoned Lincoln. So we need to speak to him. We also need to speak to um, this F. Morgan, which is the uh, yeah the name signed on the slaughterhouse purchase receipt, which we found in the boot. And Mrs. Black, who is the wife of Adrian Black. So I think we need to speak to her. So the first port to call, I think, is the Black residence to speak to the woman. Um, listed address for Adrian Black and, and her, the wife. Okay. Well, I guess I'll see you guys at the house. Okay, the black residence, 11.20 a.m. It's a nice house, isn't it? Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. No problem. Just a minute. What was she doing in there, then? LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. Uh, we can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. Okay. Point of interest updated, Margaret Black. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. Okay, she looked like she was telling the truth. Well, let's um, take the place out. Come on. So we got to look at the pipe. See the pipe's been missing. Right, just, just, just have a look around to make sure we um, don't miss anything. Have a good look around. There's got to be something in here to go on. Oh, another newspaper here. Alienist Fontaine provides help to troubled vets. Lie down. Make yourself comfortable. So, your friend of Courtney's. Oh, this is the other guy. Yes, Doc. He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions. These blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. My skull, it, 
It feels like it's in a vice. I'm going to give you something to calm your nerves. I want to take you on a journey. A journey back. I want you to remember the good things about your past. Occasions that made you laugh. Times that made you smile. All right, okay. So newspapers collected two out of thirteen. All right, let's keep sweeping the house. Cavanas. So who brought this home? Does she smoke? Oh, maybe Adrian was a patron. Maybe Adrian was a patron. Aren't I should have an address. Uh, rec records and investigation can assist with your inquiries. Contact Aaron. I got to read faster. I think <laughs> that's my problem. Find a phone for the dress. Okay, we can ring him up then. Let's have a look at these cigarettes as well. Oh, that was it. Right, okay. There was a phone over here. Let's go and ring him up. Just using your phone, ma'am. That's all right. Just use it without permission. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thanks for your help. Okay, new objective, investigate Kavanaugh's bar. Okay, okay, we'll do that. Let's go into the kitchen. But it's quite a um, detailed game, right? Okay, what's this? I'm in the kitchen still. There's a flyer. Oh, look. There's a flyer for Insta Heat, which is the brand of the pipe. Insta, got it. Come any closer. Insta Heat. Um, we got an address there. We can investigate further. They cannot rust or corrode. They are guaranteed for 10 years. Designed to give more hot water 24 hours a day. What was that clear I just found? I have to look at my book for that. Right, we got this was only recently installed, not two days ago. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. Right, okay. Right, I think we need to go upstairs now. Well, there's more rooms here. Oh, it's not an upstairs. Huh. Is that Margaret? Right, we're in a different room now. What's this? More matches are all over the bloody place these matchboxes are. Oh, we've got a glass case here. This must be Adrian's. Okay, let's get further. Stenzel? So that was his glasses then. So the glasses are a match. Okay. So it looks like well, it doesn't prove that he was he was the guy who died. And there he is, Adrian. Bedrooms, separate pictures. What gives here? Oh, so these two were living apart, kind of thing. They weren't very close. Well, what's this? To my Adrian, love sick and lonely without you. To Hurry back, Adrian. my darling, Nicole. This thing gets more and more interesting. Mm. 
So Margaret and Adrian have problems, marriage problems, and he's seen a bit on the other side. <laughs> well, it does get very complicated, doesn't it? What's this? And we have a receipt for a train ticket. A used ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. Oh my goodness, so Adrian left. Adrian left then? Mmm, very odd. Right, we're looking outside now. Um, use I to use intuition and search for clues. I don't think we need to lose, use that yet. We just got to lose this. Look for this um, pipe thing, which is, looks like it's here. Right, yeah. So it's been taken apart. No use leaving the thing half finished. Okay, we solved it, but... So the pipe missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. Right, okay, I understand what that was now, then. <laughs> so, is that all the clues? Alright, so I've looked around the garden, apart from a random pair of second tiers. Um, there's not much else around here, so I think we need to speak to Margaret now and see what she thinks. I'm all right now, detectives. Okay. So, the slaughterhouse receipt. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God Frank knows Morgan. what he's up to. Okay, well, I guess you send the, 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 the truth. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I've told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. Right, okay. Um, so, Kavana's bar matchbook. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar. How did you know that? Mm -hmm. Adrian practically lives there after work. Well, she, she looks like she's telling the truth. She hasn't got the eyes going left and right. So I'm going to go truth. So Adrian spends a lot of time there. Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. Oh, Seattle. Well, we know that. Old Nicole. Um, let's talk about the location of Adrian Black. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. Again, we have no reason to disbelieve her. She seems quite confused at all. So nothing out of the usual then? Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. Well, I think it was yesterday. He must have been, he must have left with a suitcase. Um, Stenzel glasses case. Let's ask about that. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. Again, we got no reason to disbelieve that. We saw glasses. We saw a pair of glasses at the scene. Go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. Ah. It looked terrible. He had a new pair. So the old pair was, was found at the scene, wasn't it? Because it had tape on it. So photograph signed Nicole. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. Hmm. See, she's got the eyes going again, so I'm going to definitely say lie, and we know it's from Nicole. It could be from Seattle, but she knows something. There's plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. But I guess you know that. I told you what I know about the picture. Picture. 
Okay, we know about the picture because... Um, right, it was obviously the concealed... It was a concealed message within inside the photograph, which she doesn't know about. Please, hurry. My husband might be injured. What about Nicole, Mrs. Black? Was your husband going to leave you for her? I've seen the photo frame. <laughs> he thinks I'm stupid. Mm. But women sense these things. I don't know if he intended to leave me or if it was just a fling. God only knows. I only want to know that he's safe. Okay, and where was she? I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? What an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Let's have a look at our notebook. I don't know what to say on that one. Right, there's nothing in our book to say otherwise. So I can only assume she turned the truth. Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I, I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited. And she could have, she could have paid someone though. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Please do, Detective. Right. Um, so I guess our next port of call is the the bar. Yeah. So next next is Cavana's bar. So we need to go there and uh, just ask a couple of questions, I guess. See you there. Jesus, I'm glad to be out of there. Mr. and Mrs. Black don't seem to have the happiest home life. He's too scared to divorce her, and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think she could have killed him? She sure as hell doesn't seem the type. But stranger things have happened. Yeah, it's a strange one, this. I think she might have paid some to do it. Right, here we are. Cavana's bar. Hey, I know you. No, you don't. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Quick split answer, right. You looking for someone? Yeah, you. And uh, maybe Frank. You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's a regular. He's a loner in the back. Okay. Interview Frank Morgan. So, you going to see your married man? This must be him here. Who's asking? Right, let's talk to him. Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know him. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. Don't like him at all. Frank Morgan, age 34. Uh, friend and co-worker of missing person Adrian Black. Right, so link to the abandoned vehicle. We found Black's car, abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good no, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. Well, I'm not being funny. Look at his eyes. Like well, you're lying. <laughs> you're lying, Morgan. You were there. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? Well, we got your receipt for start. You were there, Morgan. We found a receipt in the trunk of the car. It has your name on it. We can call the slaughter yard and nail you on it. All right, already. That fool Adrian's fallen for some dame in Seattle. He wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. Oh. It all makes sense now. So he wasn't killed. It was the animal slaughter. It was the animal blood. Fantastic. Right, okay. So, location of Adrian Black. Where exactly is Black holed up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. 
But again, we've got no evidence um, to suggest otherwise. But then he looks like he's lying. I'm tired of your shtick, Morgan. Spill it! Or we take you out in the alley and we knock it out of you. He's holed up at my place. He's waiting for some money to come through before he blows town. An address? It's an apartment house at the corner of Temple and Figueroa. Apartment number two. All right. I think that's all. Thanks Location for your help, updated Morgan. and new objective. It. Investigate hey, Morgan's apartment. I'm just glad I could help. I love cops. Cuff him, <laughs> let him go. It's up to you, Phelps. There's no way I'm writing this idiot up. Uh, press uh, to arrest the subject or let him off by leaving the bar. Well, he didn't really do anything wrong, did he? I suppose. Or mind you, dead. He's... Do. You're getting nothing more from me. What do you call it? In, uh, per perverted? No, pervert the course of justice. You got Morgan's address? Let's get over to his apartment. All right. Let's set that as the destination then. And uh, it's going to speak to Adrian Black. KGPL calling car 11K. 11K, come in. 11K, go ahead. Message from Tactical Services. Bud found in the abandoned Lincoln at the PE freight depot is not human. Repeat, not human. Oh, we knew that, didn't we? Compositional analysis reveals swine as the most likely match. Roger, KGPL. I'm trying to reel this guy in, folks. Check the place out. Come on. Okay, let's go in. Um, I guess we look at this one. F. Morgan, number two. Frank Morgan. Apartment two. Help you, gentlemen. LAPD detectives, Mr. Black. You're under arrest. Look, I'm really sorry about this. I never tried to hurt anyone. I just needed to get away from L.A. I won't put up a struggle. Just let me get my things. I knew it! Phelps, go after him. I'll right, try to head him in the car. Remember, the gun is the last resort. Is he upstairs? Oh, yeah, he is upstairs. All right, okay. There's no point running, He's fast running, isn't he, for a big guy? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, these guys. These guys you chase. They are really Mr. Black, athletic. Get back here right now. Oh, there he is. That's our partner come in. How do I get stank? Oh, yeah, okay. A shift to run to, to slip it's down a drink. It's over, Adrian. You are under arrest. Why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're going to lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. Yeah, say goodbye to Nicole. That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up and you learn from Bukowski here, you could go a long way in this department. All right. Jobs are good in. First day on the case. Achievement unlocked. Golden boy. The driver's seat. All right. So we got, we got all the clues. Oh, we got one question wrong. Uh, vehicle damage zero. Okay, I didn't know you had all this. Indra zero, city damage zero. Case notes. Agent Black can look forward to his day in court and uh, beating from the LA press. Excellent. All right then, guys. <laughs> I love that episode. That's brilliant. I loved it. I uh, hope you guys have too. If you have, then please leave a like. And hopefully I will see you guys on the next episode. Talat.